Hi, I'm Mike Hughes. In this video, we're going to go over the first five steps in working with the untouched or the unhandled horse. This horse's name is Fire. She's out of Texas, and she was trailered in from Texas. She is also the same horse that when we got her to Cameron Oak Stables that kicked me in the right leg and shattered my right leg, no fault of hers. And I wanted to go into a little bit more detail on how that happened. So when she got to Cameron Oak Stables, we opened the trailer doors so she'd go into the paddock. And when we opened the trailer doors, she was stuck inside the trailer and she was standing on her lead rope. So always putting the best interest of the horse first over mine, I went into the trailer and got her undone. I knew the consequences going into the trailer to get her undone, but you know, again, we always put the best interest of the horse first. And just as I got her unstuck inside the trailer, she cow kicked and got me in the right leg, then darted out of the trailer and went into her paddock. So in this video, we're gonna go over uh, the first five steps on working with the unhandled, unbroke horse and we hope you enjoy the video thank you this is a preview on the first five steps you want to do with your unhandled or untouched horse this is fire we put fire in a paddock next to the round pin where there's a little bit of a chute so we can have her go into the round pin she's never had a halter on nor does she know how to lead because she's never had a halter on and this just makes it easy to get her into the round pin so we could begin her training doing the first five steps of working with her to, since she's unhandled and uh, untouched so the first step is you're always going to want to establish a direct the direction is going to be to the right. It's the first step that we'd want to do with our unhandled or untouched horse or any horse when it comes to round pinning, but you want to really work on establishing a direction so the horse is consistent. When a horse is consistent, then you want to start going to your inside turns. This is step two. Step two is teaching your horse how to do an inside turn and then going to the left. And the third step is going to be establishing direction uh, going in the opposite direction, which in this case, fire is going to start learning how to go to the left. So the first three steps is going to the right, inside turn from the right, and then going to the left. And from the left, then we're going to also uh, start going into teaching her how to do an inside turn from the left. And there she stops and starts facing Sarah. And now Sarah is going to go ahead and ask her to go to the right again. So there's your first four steps you'd want to establish in the round pin is left, right, inside turns from each direction. Then we're going to start teaching Fire how to square up with us or face us. So after we taught her how to stop, we're going to have her get her attention and have her start squaring up with us. And there she gave us a really good try and moved her right hip over a little bit or left hip to the right a little bit. And then Sarah's going to walk in the other direction, keeping or asking Fire to keep her head on us and if the horse keeps her head on us long enough they'll eventually square up their bodies with us so this is only a preview to see the full video in learning how to teach your broke horse to have confidence and trust in the first five steps and of course we'll have other videos on this with fire on continuing her training join my membership page just go to google type in mike q's horsemanship members page click on the link and subscribe when you do subscribe you'll end up with a seven day free trial during that seven days is for you to decide whether you like the site or not. If you don't like the site, just go ahead and cancel and you won't be charged. If you do like the site, go ahead and stay on. We have over 300 plus videos on there, horse training videos on there for you, where we break down every lesson and steps that the horse can understand in a calm, relaxed manner. So go ahead and subscribe today, get started with your horse, and we hope you enjoy the site. Thank you.